Hello everyone, this is Tanya with Resonate LLC. Today I'll be working on this Phoenix mold from Zuri Designs using a mica brushing technique. This piece will be used in a collaboration with Kathy LaPierre for our Phoenix challenge. Hopefully it will um, come out just fine and uh, we'll see what happens. So here we go, we will start beginning. I'm going to start with the gold and I'm gonna go with the body and the head first now this gold I actually got from uh, Island Micas and more uh, they call this the gold chrome which I find is a very very nice powdered chrome and I'm using a very very fine brush to get into all the very very fine lines of this mold so and it also really really shines a lot with this mold And a little goes a very, very long way, as you can see. So I'm only going to do the body going on up to the head of, in this gold color. Now the very, very small details, we can come back later and uh, paint with, uh, like, the eyes and stuff. We can paint that with, um, like, a little bit of dot of acrylic or something like that so I'm not too worried about it I'm mostly getting the majority of the color down hope you can see everything and what I also try to do is I try to go up the sides of the mold a little bit just so that way it's all completely covered Now I'm going to start on the wings. The wings, I'm going to use this flake from Jet Age Studio called Picante. I really love this because it's just so gorgeous. It's a beautiful red, orange, gold. Now this is a flake, so I have to be careful with how I spread it because it goes everywhere. flakes like this, I'm trying not to talk too much because otherwise my, my breath will cause these flakes to fly everywhere. I'm just putting this in here lightly and then I'm going to smush them down into the mold here in a moment. I'm going to leave this little gap here for the multi-layers of feathers that birds normally have. I'm going to come back and do a different colors in there. Probably some of the same colors that I'm going to do on the tail. All right. Maybe just a little bit more. That's enough of the actual pigment. So now I get to smoosh. Sometimes this very fine thing won't work, so I have to come in with a deeper brush. Just to kind of really, really get it in. Now this one had a little bit of red on it before, so that's okay. Because the picante will cover everything. Also trying again to cover the sides. Now look at that. How pretty is that? And the one thing about dusty molds is sometimes you make a little mess up. So a little bit of alcohol on a Q-tip and you can kind of clean it up. Sometimes it takes a few times. But it will. And it will come up. So 
sorry. A little bit more. And if a little bit of the flakes come in the on the already done in gold area, that's fine because once the resin's in, those flakes will kind of float around. That's why you have to mush them onto your mold. But that's just gorgeous to me. <laughs> okay, next I'm going to use this one here called Ember. Now this is a chameleon powder. This one here has a little bit more you know what? I'm not going to use ember on this one. That one, that one's a little too, uh, too brownish. I'm going to go with this one. This one's also, no, 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 tequila sunset. There we go. This is the right one. I apologize. Uh, tequila sunrise. This is a powder. Kind of looks peachy, but when it's in here, it looks orangey, uh, gold. So just a little bit, just to kind of blend it all in, just like regular birds do. Try and get the sides here just to blend it all together. I'll use this later. And I also want. Oh, where's my yellow? I had everything together. I apologize. This is a gold, a different gold. This is a lighter gold. I'm going to kind of blend this in the two. See, it looks just a little bit lighter than the gold that is already there. The way it blends in together. Gives it a little bit more dimension. There we go. And there's the wings. Now, the tail. I'm, I'm going to put the little bit of claws right there. I hope you can see it in there. Um, back is the gold. Get out of there, Flake. I don't want you. <laughs> All right. So the claws. I'm going to dust it with gold just to kind of continue it on. Now for the rest of the tail, let's work on some of these other flakes and lusters. This one is a uh, golden sunset. You can see it's a very, very pretty, pretty goldy orange. What I like to do is with the feathers, I'm going to make them into different layers. So I'm going to put one down here. We'll go ahead and do the two. Mm. And I'm going to add a little bit of red to it. So I'm going to go with this chrome red. Wipe off my brush a little bit. This chrome red is also from Island Micas. Now this is a very, very vivid, vivid red. So I'm going to go here. Roll around and I'll blend it all together. I like blending. Blending is good. And then, let's see, probably here. Work your way around. Try to keep with the same feathers. Same design. Oh, that's too much. There we go. That's why I like working with a very, very small, small brush for this sort of detail work. You know what? I'm going to go back to a little bit of gold. Ember. 
number's pretty. Oh, thank you, my lovely husband. Gold. And yes, sometimes I change things up and move move it around. And I decide, you know, one point I want this feather to be gold, I want this feather to be orange or red. And then I change my mind again. See, I kind of messed up a little bit. I got a little too much of that gold in there. So. There we go. Perfect. I hope you can see that better. My husband uh, just added some more light to this. This is the first time we've tried this. We're trying to iron out all the details. I'm also going to add this one here called Inferno. Now, I haven't even opened this one yet, so I'm going to open this up real quick. Now, it is very, very cold here since this is January, so I will not be pouring resin tonight. I will do that at hopefully tomorrow. See, Inferno looks very, very close to um, Golden Sunset, but this one is a little different. And I find that when you come with a multi-feather and very, very highly detailed creature like this, it's good to have just a little bit of detail change Are you doing this there we go hmm. okay now we're going to use the tequila sunrise this is a little bit more orangey And by changing the color, this adds a lot more dimension. And yes, this is very much like uh, adult coloring, only you're using very fine powders. Okay, now I will try a little bit of this ember. It's not quite brown, it's very much a dusty, dusty gold. Dusty gold? Darker gold, I guess? Antique gold? Would that be the name? Okay, yeah, I'll add a little bit more to it too. bit of this lighter gold yes lighter gold that piece there I don't know what that came from make sure you go up on the sides a little bit I need to clean one last little spot, and then I'm going to do gold in that last little spot right here. Perfect. From what I can see. Okay, now what I'm going to do with this light gold too is I'm going to start brushing over everything. Just to give it a little bit of uh, cohesion 
on anything that we might be missing. Hope I'm saying these words correctly. I do not speak quite well. See, I missed that spot. Okay, anything else that I might be missing? It's okay to multi layer a lot of this dusting. All right, and now the Phoenix is dusted. So I hope to pour some resin in it uh, tomorrow, and hopefully we will get one that will look similar to this. Although, of course, like I said, I like to try and switch the colors around whenever I'm pouring the multi feathers, but that is what it's going to somewhat look like. So I can't wait to see how Kathy will do with uh, this, with her uh, part of the collaboration. Thank you all for joining me. Have a great day.